You first need to check that you have a booklet finisher on your device. On the left side of the machine, check that you have an external finisher and that it has a booklet exit location at the lower left. If you don't have a booklet finisher, you can still print a booklet, but the machine won't be able to fold and staple it. It'll come out as flat sheets. Open the document you want to print as a booklet. Here we're printing a PDF file from Acrobat. Booklets need to have a page count of a multiple of four. In the advent that you don't have a multiple of four, blanks will automatically be inserted at the end of the document when printing to make the page count up to a multiple of four. Check the size of the original. Here the pages are A4 sized. Select File Print. The initial print window is application specific. Because we are using Acrobat, we need to ensure that size is selected and the page scaling is fit or actual size. Select properties to get to the printer driver properties. On the basic settings tab, the page size and output size determine the final output size of the booklet and any scaling that is required. We determined that our original document has A4 pages, so we select A4 in the page size. If we want to produce an A4 booklet with the pages printed on A3 and folded to A4, we need to select an output size of A3. In the double-sided settings, we need to select booklet printing. Note that the thumbnail has changed to show a booklet. At the bottom of the thumbnail, you can see the scaling is two A4s to A3. Also note that the thumbnail does not show staples. If we printed it now, we would get a flat sheet output. We need to set the saddle stitch settings. If we choose fold only, the machine will fold the document without stapling. Check the specifications of your machine to the maximum number of sheets you can fold without stapling. If we choose fold and saddle stitch, the machine will print the document and put staples in the final output. Check the specifications of your machine to determine the maximum number of sheets you can staple. Choose OK and print in order to submit your job to the printer. Depending on your configuration, the job will print or you may need to release it from your release queue. If I wanted to produce the same booklet and scale the original A4 pages down to A5, then in the print driver I would select the output size as A4. You can now see below the thumbnails reporting two A4s printing onto A4. Note that to produce A5 booklets, you need to ensure you have A4R paper loaded into the machine. If you require a cover printed on a different paper stock, or from a different paper source, this can be accomplished. After setting up the booklet, select the Paper Source tab and change the paper selection from Same Paper for All Pages to Different for Covers and Other. Now select the tray location for the cover stock and the body stock. You can see that the printer driver automatically created a gutter on the spine of the book. You can control the size of this gutter by going into the detailed settings for the booklet. As you have seen, there can be a few settings that need to be made in order to print a booklet. Once you have all the settings correct for the type of booklet that you produce, you can save these settings as a profile for later reuse. If you receive PDF files that have already been imposed as a booklet, you can print these too. Here we have a file that has the two A4 pages imposed onto an A3 sheet. To print this, select File Print. Ensure that size is selected and actual size, then go into the printer properties. Select the page size as A3 and the output size as A3. Change to booklet printing. Now in the booklet properties, 
change to With Application Settings. This will ensure that the printer does not perform any additional imposition as the document is already imposed. If you don't see these options, then your driver may not have been set up correctly. Please check with your IT provider to ensure that booklet printing by device is enabled under the Printer Driver Properties Device Settings details. Select Fold and Saddle Stitch. The document is now printed, folded and stitched. Note that this printing method does not include a gutter. If you require a gutter, this would need to be set in the document prior to printing. This concludes this video.